Greetings and welcome, fellow adventurers, to another episode of Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition. Alright, so apparently I can't get a moment's peace in between quests. <sighs> Anamon Delrin, son of Kor, I come as bearer of dire news. Your father requests your presence at his estate. Dire news, say you? For the reason would I have to return to my father? The sister is dead, most foully murdered by all accounts. Dead? By a helm. Murdered? How can this be? Why would you say such a thing? I am truly sorry, my lord. Perhaps you should return to your home as your father has requested. Aye, right and quick. The only case, we must head for my father's home in the government district of Afkatla. Though I am sorry to hear of your sister's old time timely demise, I have other things that I must look to first. Your answer does not suffice. You will accompany me to discover the truth of my sister's murder. Fail of this and I shall leave you in the darkness that engulfs you. Very well, we shall make it your way to your father's home with all haste. Must have suffered to discover the truth about this murder. Let us go. Yeah. Well, let's just do this for then. But first... The good thing about having a quest in the, gov in the temple district, a temple is not far away. Right, where is the person we need for some service? I know this is the temple of the Thunder, not Helm, but eh. One temple is much like another. Where are the priests? Morning night, morning night, Dial Master Creel. Alright. Can you give us service? I welcome you with outstretched hand. Alright. I would like very much for you to um do some greater restoration, please. Thank you. Now we can leave. Now we have to hear Anaman cry that he is very tired. And he did not lose his spells, did he? Just to be sure. I just can't cast him at the moment because he is... Leave the prophets be. Head to the government district. To taste the airs of home. It has been a long time since I have passed this way. Home? I thought you maintained your quarters at the Radiant Heart. I attend that the order is oft required, but my servants maintain an estate in this district, and it is there that I shall visit my wife and daughters. Would you like to come? I shall introduce you. I would like that. Very well. I shall point that to you, unless we pass the gates. As I said, it has been a far too long since I last walked these streets. Yeah, no that can wait. Our stay had best be a short one. We'll just go to the Delrin estate. Then we can get Enemon his peace and quiet. As much as a pain in the ass as he can be, as well as just looking to die for some reason. Declare yourself, Lord Anaman. Welcome home. Your father awaits within. He's in the kitchen, in deep in drink. He is angry with me. Yes, my lord. Nothing has changed. When your sister 
died, things became worse. I'd expected this much. Let him vent his bile on me if he so wills it. I am not the child that I used to be. Leon, let us enter. I demand that we stop. The day was not this long even when I led soldiers in the order. Just as I thought. Well then, next time don't get level trains. Well. <laughs> the prodigal son returns. Heir to his mother's foolishness as always. Well, let me ask you. How far have you roamed, son, running away from me? Speak not of my mother, drunkard. You were never worthy of being her husband. Yet, it wa yet I was. And your father as well. Never forget that, boy. Your mother would still be alive if your children weren't such a handful. Shut your mouth, father. We've had this conversation before and I've not the patience to listen to it again. You will listen to whatever I choose to tell you, Anamon. Respect your father, Nightling. I'm still the man of this family and you will obey me. Yes, father. I lost my temper and I apologize. It took you long enough to get here. Wouldn't hurt you to come and see your father now and again. Father, where is Moira, your daughter? What happened to her? Idiot boy! She's dead. Murdered by the Kalishite fiends. How did this happen? How do you think? It was Sark the Kalishite. It was not enough for him to take my business, he had to take my Moira as well. But why would he kill her? She has nothing to do with your enmity. Do you understand nothing? He killed her because he could. For years I embarrassed him amongst the merchants, undercut his prices, and stole his customers. When my business has failed, he had a monopoly on the Kalansham shipping routes. He would not be happy until I had nothing. By the end, Moira was all that I had, and now he's taken her too. Where were the guards? Why was she not protected? The guards left months ago. I had no money to pay them with. Soon I will lose my house as well. Sark has taken all of it. All of your mother's and sister's, sister's things. He didn't take it, father. You lost it. You lost it. I lost it because you abandoned your family. If you hadn't run away, Moira would still be alive. You should be, be you should have been here to protect her. To save her from the brigands. I'm sorry. I I did not know. You should have been here, Anaman. Never forget that. It's too late to save her. But your work is not yet finished, Anaman. What can be done? Moira is dead. She can be avenged, Anaman. You must kill Sark and his son. It is the only way that Moira's spirit can be at rest. As for your friends, they would do well to help you. For Sark the Kalishite is a very wealthy man and his gold shall be their reward. I must see Moira's remains first, father. I will take but a moment. Go then. She was cleansed from the pyre and her ashes are kept in an urn by the pool. It was the place that Moira loved most of all. Young, come with me to Moira's urn. I would speak with you. Very well, I shall follow you. This way. I am well worried by what has gone on in this place. Though the choice seems clear and right, I am hesitant to take it. There is little to question here, Anaman. You must uphold the law and think of the order. To do otherwise is to risk everything that you have striven toward for so long. There are many who easily sidestep laws through wealth. Perhaps in this case it would be best to see why the law has failed so. Surely if Sark killed my sister I must avenge her murder. Yet killing for the purpose of revenge is murder by the tenants of the order. I know not what I should do. Now. We have a bit of a choice to make here. The obvious path would be to actually follow the tenets of the order. Let Sar go. Give him. But. 
If I do that, then Anuman will be accepted as one of their members. His alignment will change to lawful good. And he will become useless to me because I want a neutral party. So I'm going to do something that I have not actually done before. I'm going to encourage him to be my side of things. Alright, so let's see. What answers can I give here? Hmm. Your father is correct. Your sister's murder cannot go unpunished. Dark is clearly evil. And is it not every knight's responsibility to destroy evil? Do you not think that the killing of Sark could be considered revenge murder by the Order? Perhaps it could, but what would, would you be willing to let your sister's killer go free so that you can join the Order? Perhaps you speak truth, yet I find myself loath to cast off the vows that I have made to the Order so easily. It is exactly in these kinds of situations that my mental is to be truly tested. It is not so much to join the Order as it is to do what I have sworn to do. I agree that you are bound by your vows, but the honor of your family and your sister's memory must come first. Sark must die for what he has done. So shall it be. We shall set things aright and rid this world of an evil man. Come, Dion. I must return to my father. In the end, your actions are your own choice, Anuman. I pray that you will take the path that you know is the right one. I was kind of hoping to not have to do this quest with Keldorn in the present, but... The grave of your sister, Anuman. Let this terrible act not go unpunished. Gird thy heart with righteous anger and slay thy sister's murderer. So shall it be done, father. Sayak will die for his deeds. Where might we find him? The dog huddles in his mansion by the bridge district, putting further indignities for me. It is a huge house in the center, ill-gotten by the bastard, no doubt. And here, I've procured a key for a place from one of his servants. Take it, Hanuman. Go. Go and avenge our Moira. Let justice be done. Return to me when you've accomplished your task. Your friends may keep what treasure they find within Sark's house, and I shall honor their names forevermore. Now. Yeah. Yeah, I can't arrest here, unfortunately. Onward, then. Just use the district exit over here. I don't think there's a time limit on killing Sark. I was never entirely sure how to pronounce that name. Alright, Serk. More laborers. Omnium soldier. Nobody really worth talking to here. Let us continue with our quest. So, Temple District. Alright, this was more than I was expecting earlier on. Kill them all. We well know that we must leave no witnesses. Thanks. Renfeld. Jon Jonsson at your service. I stand amongst the righteous. And uh, are we considered outside? I think so. And so what do we have here? Mage? Something you need. At your order. Duty calls. <laughs> to meet your doom. <laughs> if memory serves. Die! Yeah. Yes. You need my skills, I see. All right.
to battle with no regrets. You will fall yet. Help. Help me, please. Who are you? What has happened? My name is Renfield. I have been poisoned. Thank you. Take me to friends. I have a building not far away from here. Please. Thank you. Where exactly is this place? It is a large building. A large orange building in the southwest part of the docks district. There will be a man guarding the door. His name is Rylock. Please take me to him. What will be my reward for helping you then? Reward? Oh, I have nothing to offer you aside from my gratitude and those of my friends. Please, I do not have much time. Very well, I'll take you there. Thank you. I do not have long to live. You must take me there quickly. Take me to Rylock. The fool is probably drunk and not even dying. Why must we concern yourself with every delinquent we come across? Oh, do as you wish if it concerns you so much. No, what I'm concerned with right now is just getting you sound like all these scrolls. Something you need. And all this loot. Uh, yes. Yeah, you can hold on to these potions for now. And the rest of this stuff is not really worth anything. Alright, let's just put the stuff you cannot use in the bag. Right, definitely a lot of stuff to learn. You cannot use that. So that is not going to be used. I find that you carry that. Probably put this in the vault here. Um, the potion of genius. That's probably better in your possession. Potion of insight. Um, probably better for Anuman. And this is a potion of defense. All right. Gems in the bag. Just Let us continue. It was an encounter much like that one that I was expecting. All right, let's bring Renfeld to where he needs to go. So this day? Ah, perhaps this is a good time to tell you of something, Leon. Seeing as you are leading us into the docks and everything. This is Shadow Thief territory which I have had a couple of run-ins with over the past few months. They don't tend to appreciate independent operators like myself. Though so the last time they caught me operating in the city, I was told to either report to the head of the guild in the docks, Renal Bloodscalp, or suffer the consequences. Seems that Renal has an outsider to deal with, a problem, and willing to trade my punishment for the guild for, by the guild for a service. Being able to go to him might be a bit messy. Now, I'm pretty safe with you, I think, but it's up to you. If you go and see Renal, we might be able to talk him into a reward. It'll avoid complications later on. What do you think, Leon? You don't want to cause problems here, I just want to bring this up. Both to warn you and perhaps mention a possible opportunity for us both. Very well, perhaps we should go and talk to this Renal. Whenever it's convenient. The guild headquarters is here in the docks and shouldn't be difficult to find. I just hope they let us in without problems. Yes, yes, yes. To the task at hand, my married friend. Hello there, friend. Sorry if I disturbed your chain of thought, but you look near to the city. I wanted my land a hand. 
What do you mean by help? What advice do you think you can give? Oh, not much. I don't claim to be an authority or anything. I just like meeting new people. I say one thing though. You don't go out much at night. We got the Thieves Guild, see? They ain't so bad, but there's another guild that's fighting them. I've seen people get caught in the middle and it isn't pretty. Mostly only happens at night though, and the city is so much more impressive than the day anyway. Thank you for the word of warning, anything else? Nope. Have a good day enough, Kapla. Safe, safe travels, friend. Right. I demand that we stop. The day was not this long, even when I led soldiers in the Heal order. and repent. You! Bow worm, I pray that Cynic allows you to become one of his holy worshippers. Cast aside whatever false god you pray to and embrace the Prince of Lies in all his majesty. I wanted to pluck out my eyes, will I? You mock the Prince of Lies? Hurrah! That's probably not the sound he was making, but... Hey now, you there. You're a friend of Galen's? He both says you're welcome to enter if he likes. Such a fool. A potion of strength. And you can have that. I really just want to get to the orange house. Which isn't this house. It's this house. And avoid any further complications because I kind of know <laughs> what's going to happen here. Side quest upon side quest, always sidetracking us, but it's a fun one, so I don't mind so much. And it's free experience, even if we have to split six ways. Poor Alamon, yeah, I could go into an inn here, but not going to. Because that is another side quest that I'm kind of trying to avoid at the moment. What can it be now? Yes, is there something? Benfield! By tomorrow, thank you for bringing him to us. We were beginning to worry. He's been poisoned somehow, but he said magic was not able to cure it. He seemed desperate to find you. Poisoned? By the gods, thank you. I must bring him inside immediately. Here is some coin. For your trouble. I thank you again, friend. Yee. It's a little bit of coin, but eh, whatever gets us a little bit closer to our ultimate goal. Your voice is ambrosia. And here we have another old friend, Zar. You there, unwashed one. I would have a word with you. I was wondering when we when you would turn up, Zent. I had suspected our parting would not be permanent when last we met. It appears my suspicions were correct. I am not here to address you, heartless harper wench. I am here to appeal to your erstwhile companion, Leon. An appeal? What do you want? I saw you dealing with those harpers, but it's obvious you are not a harper yourself. You would be willing then to render me a service regarding them? What harpers? What are you talking about? The harpers you delivered the poisoned man to. Or were you too idiotic to know they were harpers? I require your inadequate services for a job. Be wary, Leon. The harpers will not brook interference lightly, and this end likely holds only the worst intentions in his heart. Yes, yes, I'm not asking you to walk in and slaughter them now, am I? I'm thinking as that might be. I am not such a blundering fool as your friend might suppose. Exactly what is it you want me to do then? My friend Montoron has been taken captive by those irksome harpers. I would have you enter their building and find Monty for me. 
You want me to sneak into the Harper's base? And what would stop me from ending up the same as Montheron? I. Well, you're the one that knows them. They're not going to kill you just because you're looking up for the whereabouts of a spy. You're a thief. Bah! And what would be my reward for this job? A reward? Is it not enough to save a fellow being in need? Bah! Very well, you should have a rewarding goal for your efforts and something else as well. I know certain information. The mage who captured you, Irenicus. I know where he is. Do your task, do my task, and I shall tell you. He. <laughs> Very well. I'll see what I can do. Excellent. Go to the building and returns once you have found him. Short, halfling, thief, even your one of you with intellectual capacity cannot miss him. Well, if you wish to investigate what has happened to the spy, that is up to you, Leon. I suggest caution and perhaps some common sense. If the Harpers will even speak to us, which I doubt, they certainly will not reveal what they did with the Halfling. Best not to ask about him directly. Alright. Ryder goes back outside. What can it be now? Hmm. You are the one who returned Renfeld to us, yes? Greetings to you again, then. Is there something you need? Yes, could you tell me what manner of place to... Uh, is this? Yeah. This is a private residence. Private, as in, it's none of your business. Really? I thought it was the Harper headquarters. There are Harpers? What are you talking about? I'm saying that this is the Harper's headquarters here in the city. That is what it is, isn't it? Can anyone else hear that? Keep your voice down. It's supposed to be a secret. Where did you hear this? Who told you? But it is the truth, is it not? I am a Harper myself, and we simply wish to be treated as guests. Beyond did bring your poisoned friend, after all. Alright, you returned Renfeld to us, but I can't let you inside based on that. Listen, if you do a small task for us, I'll let you take a look around. Deal? What sort of small task are you talking about? You look like a... You look like the fighting sort. There is a house just north of here, near the center of the district. I'm a harper friend, and I think I see I see where this is heading. Is it all really necessary? I'm afraid it is, Jahira. Harper or no, your friends are strangers. They must prove their good faith if we are to trust them with our secret in the city. The owner of the house, a, ma a mage named Prebeck, performs vile experiments, creating beasts that threaten the city. Destroy them, and we'll allow your wish. Why not just deal directly with the owner of the house? That is a separate matter, and is being dealt with by another harper. This is all we need help with currently. So will you do it? Very well, I will do as you ask. Very well. Go to the house and kill the creatures there. We will watch you and know when you have completed the task. Return here once you are done. <sighs> If the Harpers have asked this task to judge your worthiness, then there's no way around it. Let us proceed and be done with these creatures. We have to run errands for the Harpers now, even after saving one of them. And all for that, that Nacromancer's halfling friend. I say to the abyss, to the abyss with them all. Why would the Harpers set us on such a simple task just to gain admittance? Doesn't seem right. Ismail Red Leon. Proceed carefully if you intend to. A cover for your thoughts. You are looking rather pensive today. Doubts about your current path, perhaps? Perhaps. Though I have little choice in changing where I am bound. Is that your feeling? I was thought we all had a choice. But then the great cycle did not count on divine interference. You must feel precious that I do not. On occasion, there are a great many things putting me to one side or another. I understand. Most of us would tend towards the equilibrium. It would require effort to pull in one direction or another. But you are pulled from the start. 
with balance being a difficult path. It is the same with the nature when civilization intrudes. And what has been the solution there? Solution? There has to come a time when things must end, for better or worse. I, but who knows when such evil, when such an end will come? We work for balance in case the final count has taken today. If each day as the last, just in case it is. The present will pass by if you live in the past. Either should you wait too long for the future to find you? Who said this? It was Khalid. He did not dwell on things, and I wished I would not either. I wonder what. Now look, foolish things in my head. Still, these talks always make me feel better. Yes, indeed. Well, as it is, that is the end of this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time, and if you like my content, please rate, comment, and subscribe.